In this training video for Video Surgeon version 2, we'll briefly look at the printing functionality, which is in the upper right hand corner of the top menu. If you select it, it will open this dialog. I'm just going to move it up here, sort of out of the way, so we can talk about the options in here and explain to you what this does. Let's just run through these from top to bottom. We have we have current video screen, which prints the screen that you see, uh, which is the current screen within Video Surgeon that's open. If we choose the next one, which is selected frames, you'll see that it's updating down here because it's going to calculate the number of frames right here that you're going to print. And by selected frames, we are selecting those frames using the selection tool right here. So. I can't move this because we've already selected something and I've got the print dialog open, but if we close this, we could change the selection and that would change the number of frames printed. But the point is that you need to understand that you can select a specific area and it will print all the frames within that area. And that's what this is. And when you select this, it will tell you how many frames you're going to print. And that's important because if you select something, you're going to print a thousand frames you may want to rethink whether you really want to print that many frames. The next option here are the frames before the current screen. And again, it's updating and it's going to recalculate that number. What does this mean, the frames before the current screen? Well, this is the current screen. It is the screen that is indicated by this progress indicator right here. So if we're going to print all the frames before this current screen, it means that we're going to print all the frames in the video before this and that is about six seconds worth of frames which is 147 frames because as you can see we've updated that amount if we select frames after current screen it'll select and print everything after this screen and that's going to be six seconds less a minute ten so about a minute four so you're gonna have 64 seconds of screens there which is going to be at about 30 screens per per second is going to be something on the order of um, 2,000 screens. So again, if we select this, and I'm not going to, uh, because it'll take a little bit to recalculate it. Lastly, all frames, meaning that it'll print every single frame in this video. But again, just so you understand what you're getting into if you do these, these options are here because they are useful for some people. I mean, if there's a particular area of a video, for example, that you want to really focus in and look at and you want to see it in hard copy on paper and you can select, as we have here, you know, a small segment of it, you can print all those frames and stack them one after the other after the other and see the progression uh, of what's going on in that video in a hard copy in front of you. The other options here then at the bottom are simply you can select the printer which you want to use. Uh, you can select the letter size and you can select the number of copies and the number of items per page. So if we wanted to put four in here, that's obviously going to give us four items per page. Um, you know, we can change this to 10 and we can change it to whatever we want. And uh, clearly if you have 10 items that you're going to print per page, they're going to be much smaller and it's also going to reduce the number of pages. In this case, if you have 147 frames to be printed and you're going to have 10 per page, you're going to have 14.7 or 15 pages. So that's a good overview of this printing dialog box. And with that, we will conclude this training video. Thanks.